Hey guys, what's up? Well, I'm making this video because I was supposed to make a video a long time ago about my recovery and everything else. But um, the reason why I didn't make a video um, throughout like the other months was because I kind of felt fake about making a video about saying that everything was okay when everything really wasn't. And I just kind of felt like I should be making the video whenever I felt right and whenever I kind of felt like I found myself myself again because I felt like I kind of lost myself for quite a while um, because my birthday was like four days ago so um, the that whole month of like September I kind of felt lost and it's not that I feel lost I was just kind of like I was stressing out about like that my it was going to be like a year anniversary of my accident and I was just thinking like, oh, I should have done this or I should have just never done this. And maybe the accident wouldn't have happened. I, I felt like I wasn't really me, so I, I didn't feel like making a video then. And I feel like I'm kind of finding myself again. That's why I'm making a video. And also because I just want to show you guys what I've been, um, what I've been up to, like my recovery wise. Um, so I'm gonna be showing videos of like stuff that I can do back then and then stuff that I can do now. So it's pretty much it. And because I put on my eyelashes on for the first time, <laughs> uh, it's since a long time ago and I kind of felt like it'll be like a cool video with me having my eyelashes on. And um, I am getting better on my makeup, even though my hands don't really work like they used to. I still could do like a lot of stuff. Um, the main issue about having like a spinal cord injury is that your 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 body goes back to like being a baby so if you ever notice baby's hands are always like into a fist and you kind of have to open them for them and and it's just kind of like you have to get your body used to that this is not normal so um i had a therapist told me once that it, like your body kind of goes back to baby because you can't walk so you're learning how to walk um you're learning how to set up because you don't have balance you know you're learning balance it's kind of like you know being a baby again so sometimes when i try to grab things i can't because my hands are really really stiff and i mean like i can open my hands i just have to stretch them because they're like really like tight like you know when you, when you try and do a split and you can't because your muscles and your legs aren't used to that so you have to stretch before you do a split that's pretty much how my hands are so if i stretch it really good they they can stretch but I can't have them open for so long, you see? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get that better. And, well, my walking, I'm still walking with the walker and with the cane. I could walk with the walker, with the walker like, more time. Um, I, if you guys ever been to Ikea, I finished the whole Ikea. So, by the end, I was tired. I was, like, a whole, like moody like, oh i'm tired give it to the car uh what with the cane um i think i could only do well no i, I walked yesterday like 800 feet with the cane i kind of feel more safe if somebody's there so if i'm my, by myself i'll walk with the walker but i usually like to walk with the cane with somebody because it's not all falling i can't get up by myself so i need help um uh, pretty much that's it guys thank you so much for your support for your birthday wishes and i mean all the comments you guys send me like really mean a lot to me and um i just hope i keep inspiring people not to give up and i, I know i had a lot of people that had that have inspired me um i went to uh movies and then i seen this guy it seemed like he had like a spinal cord injury similar to mine because he was in the power wheelchair and um uh, whenever he ripped the tickets like it seemed like he kind of like struggled and um i, I just it, i don't know if i like oversaw it or i don't know but it seemed like his hands didn't really work as well they were kind of like mine and um and it just inspired me because the guy was like working and he looked pretty young like my age he was working and despite like his injury or whatever like he was in the power wheelchair getting his money you know like he didn't care and and i know i know i um it took me a while to accept that this is how i walk and this is who i am at, at this point of my life and that's why before i accepted that that was who i was 
um, I never, I, I just, I had an issue with like going out to public places, like going to the store, going to like the mall, going to the movies, just going to the groceries because I just hated how people would always stare at me. And even when I go outside and like, I can walk outside, like oh, everybody stares at me and I've kind of gotten used to it now and really I'm used to it. But, um, he inspired me to like not care and just live my life because I, I, there was a point that I would always be home and I would never want to go out because I was like, no, people are just going to stare at me and I don't want people staring at me and, you know, so, um, he really inspired me and I look up to him. Um, so if it wasn't for him, I would have still not gone, gone out. I would still be at home. Uh, so I, I don't know. People are going to stare regardless. You know, uh, but I got it over it, so. Because it gets annoying, like, read. No, thank you guys so much. Um, If you just stay a little longer, you'll see the videos of my improvement, okay? Just don't give up. I mean, life gets tough, but what's done is done, and you can't really do anything about it, but you just kind of you have to keep on going, and uh, God didn't mess up. It's, this was my plan, and and I have a purpose, and this was my purpose. So, thank you. Uh, keep on posting more, vid more videos, like, for real, for this time. Thank you. I need to stop doing this. Good morning, guys. We're reporting live from Tier Hospital. I'm here with my new ride. They pimped it out, so I have a little remote control that um, oh, I yes, could, you nothing. know, move around with and um, this is how it looks, I'll model it for you, no stay there, you stay there, and then I move up and <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw up, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm feeling better now, I'm not down down and being depressed, because they were sisters here, and I'm funny, mm -hmm. Oh wait, cut that off. Then <laughs> nobody's gonna nobody's gonna compete no more and bring me stuff. Okay, so I have two more weeks left and I'm making every day um I'm working hard every day. So I can't wait to get out of here to go home. But I really like it here. Everybody's really, really nice. <laughs> All the way up with the right. Nice.
Oh, I thought you had your king, girl. No. No, we're here. Hold up. Oh, yeah. yeah, get it from here. To the, walk to the door. You gotta be determined, girl. Walk to the door. You gotta touch the door. What you want? 